Oh, it's Mr. Rob here, and welcome to my bodywork video of my new Boogie Ra Fat Box uh, racing truck, 114 scale. Now, as you can see from this, I hope, I've already built a chassis and uh, I've also made a couple of mods. I've started on the body, as you can see. This is the, the top of the cab and that goes on like that at some point once I've sprayed them both and they all stick together with um, this rate thin double sided tape so we'll go through a bit of that once we've done it now while I'm chatting about this because uh, as you can see I've cut it out and I've even sanded it down um, but due to technical problems again well not again I lost sound this time not really bad clipping sound but no sound at all so I think where are we which side do we go on I think it's this side I'll try and put a clip of me cutting out either picture in picture or I'll cut to it with a bit of music while I'm cutting it out and talking to it but yes this is uh, the body and whoa, we've got quite a few holes that we needed to drill including these ones 2 mil, which are for the mud guards we then got three three mil ones for the I don't know what they call it, what the official title is, is it the third wheel or the towing hitch? Then obviously, obviously even the body mounts. There, there, there and there. And then we've also got holes for the mirrors. And then you're supposed to, or it tells you to, dr drill a hole here. And here, Oops. here, in the cab for the wibbly wobbly. But uh, I've got a 2.4 gig digital system, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to bother. So there we go. So that's that. I've already cut out the third wheel or towing hitch and the mud guards ready so uh, I need to get a bit of spraying done and uh, get back to you Okay, so here's the first coat of PS59. So it should just be a light coat to begin with, and then more coats after that once we've let it to uh, tack off for a bit. So I'm going to switch my fan on so you won't be hearing much from now on. and I think that'll do for that one and now the hard one and I think that'll do for that one okay so I've finished painting the blue on all the bits that need the blue I hope and as you can hopefully see from this I've done the white now I've had a bit of bleed through that I didn't actually notice unfortunately on this 
So I'm just hoping there's some decals that go around there, but hey, I don't know yet. We will have to wait and see. And I've done the black there. And again here we've done the white, etc. And I've also started sticking the double-sided tape on to tape that into place. But I've got to go around here, I think, and uh, scrape off the white. So I'll do that at some point before we stick them together, because apparently I've got to stick this on here first, once I've finished here, but uh, it's quite a way to go yet before I do that, because um, all of this needs to be painted black down here, down to round about here and back up and round there and all that and everything. So I'm going to do that the same as I did the black on here which is very lightly score the overspray mask and spray it on the outside. Yeah, I've had a bit of overspray on there now, Luke. Um, unfortunately, can't can hold it up for me for an half an hour. But what I've found on some other bits is this uh, Carson paint killer does quite a good job of removing the paint, and even if he colours it or clouds it a bit, it doesn't matter because it's going to be sprayed white. So I'll just dip it in and then just lightly rub over and hey presto it's gone. Wipe it down, dry it off and there we go and just in case any of you did see it there's uh, a couple of bad ones here, but I don't care about them because, as I say, all of this is going to be sprayed black apart from this because I'm going to leave that. It does tell you to spray this black, um, but I want to leave that as white on the inside so these double sided bits of tape stick better. So anyway I will crack on with some other bits and uh, show you what the result is. Okay so I've done the black I'm hoping there isn't too much bleed through mm, some of it won't matter but some of it will obviously show um, so what I've got left to do is to cut out this bit with my knife and then spray it red. So I will try and show you but uh, apologies if uh, my head gets in the way. In fact I just I need to put my goggles on so I may end up getting my head in the way but hey such is life. So we go across this line here. bit of spraying. So once I've done that and peeled this off to hopefully show that the black hasn't been too bad, I'll be back. 
Okay folks, here we go. We're going to peel the overspray film off and I've really got my fingers crossed that there won't be too much horrible stuff but now's the time to shut up so I can uh, fast forward all of this. I don't know what's going on. I think, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Quite like the look of the reds, but it's a bit off, but hey. Well, there we go. Got a few bits to uh, peel up somehow, but uh, there we go. We'll leave that there for the minute because uh, I've also, while well, I've been waiting for paint to dry, come up with uh, a little driver figure. He's not quite in the right place, but hey. I don't care, it's a driver figure. Okay, so I think we are about ready to attach the top cab to the body. So, I've gone round, there's a note here that tells you to um, cut up this very thin double-sided tape into 19 pieces, 5.5mm uh, mil, wide and 35 long and then stick them all around the top of the cab and the bottom there as well as uh, 9 around the bottom of the body. So I've done that. So now just the uh, easy task not of taking the backing off and sticking it in place. Okay so we're ready for stickers. I've stuck the top of the cab on and then I also discovered that you're supposed to strengthen it up with four 2mm by 6mm screws, washers and nuts. So we've done all of that and uh, we can start with sticker number one that goes somewhere round about there. Yo, there you go. Keep hold of that. Ken. Ken's got me air dryer because there's uh, quite a lot of depressions in this. So I'll cut a little bit off. I'm trying to line it up with that. I don't know how successful I'm going to be. It's a bit crooked, I think. It could be my cutting out, so. Oh, God. I think I might need to cut a bit more out, but hey, too late now, we've done it. Hard work. Oh. Hopefully that will be stuck down. Oh. 
Well, there we go. The first major sticker decal stuck on. And uh, now I'm going to switch off because I think I need a coffee. Okay, so I've been cracking on for almost two days now. <laughs> Cutting stickers out and sticking stickers on and then sticking stickers over the top of other stickers and this is where I've got to. So, just a few more to go. Oh my goodness. Um, and this one, it's not that bad, but you do have to cut this out uh, for it to bend round this uh, rather complex compound curve here that you probably won't be able to see, but uh, anyway, so uh, it's not difficult to put on, it's just a bit tricky if you know what I mean. So there we go, uh, I will carry on and uh, come back to you hopefully when I've finished if I haven't lost the will to live. Oh goodness me. Well I've finished and it was a bit of a marathon. Oh, I think in total, cutting out, fitting the body, or fettling it to fit the body for the cab onto the main body, and then all the decals. Four days. Four days! Two of them were just sticking the stickers on. But it's finished! Well, there we go. Lots of stuff. A um, couple of things though. I've moved some of the uh, stickers around so that I could fit in that sticker there, CW01 Creations, because uh, Peter Smith from there sent me this as a birthday present. So there we go. Thank you so much once again, Peter. Now, I've already shown you the chassis finished and the uh, shocks upgraded, but I think at the time what I forgot to show you was I've put LEDs in the back, if you can see there, I don't know if you can, but hey, there's uh, stickers over the top, but yes, we've got red LEDs on there, and... I think really that's about it. We've got them on there, so uh, all that's left to say is thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you like the next few seconds of it spinning round. So, cheers, guys. Bye.